291CN Kansas City. Gospel 1590, 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word of God pierce your soul. 1590 a.m. on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory Radio Broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. This is Prophetess Adrian Blackstock. Glad to be here with you this morning. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We also, I also have my special guest joining us, our sister, one of the sister pastor, Dr. Margaret Wright. Amen. We have some things to go over and reference to the last, in these last days. Amen. So join us and be a part. Go ahead and share this video out there in Facebook land and all over. Join us Wednesday night for Revival If. We've been having some powerful teachings, the presence of God. If you happen to be um, in the Lee Summer area, join us for 12 p.m. Prayer is open for everyone. We've been praying. We will continue to pray at 12 noon. 12 noon, come in 10 minutes, five minutes, or the entire hour. We're praying for our region for revival and awakening in our era. Amen. So join us. And also on Wednesday night, our interactive Bible study as well. So um, Dr. Wright, I'm just ready to jump into it. They'll send me a text if I if I forgot any other announcement that is going to be taking place. Amen. Oh, and mark your date down, July the 13th, the Des Moines Hour Deliverance Meeting will be July the 13th. July the 13th, an hour. Amen. So you'll find that coming up there coming up pretty soon where God is continuing to move to help set the captives free with Cry Loud Ministry. Dr. Wright, I just thank you for being, listen, and part of this here in um, second in um, first and Tim, second Timothy speaks about in verse four about being ready in season and out of season. And so this morning, um, I thank you for being able to shift over so fast. And I'm like, listen, the Lord shift me in the spirit I would need you to be on the radio broadcast with me for this here. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory. So, um, Dr. Wright, I want to look at 2 Timothy chapter 3. And this mm-hmm. is just keep coming up more and more. And I also want to be encouraging for those um, that, that are remnant-minded saints. Because we have, you know, we have individuals, we have church folks, and then we have those that are really under the covenant of God, the remnant. Amen. And so tell we those um, that are coming in, you know, we have just like we have individuals that have confessed Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. They say, but we have many that have not been converted completely. Yeah, I want to read from the NLT and it says danger of the last days. And then I will let I'll go ahead and let you read that we expound on this because the fathers really shift me and just want us to be, he said, as watchmen on the wall, that we give the clarion call so we don't have to what we're seeing in our nation and we're seeing even in some churches, what we're seeing that's transpiring, it's because we have already been warned, we've already been told. It says, You should know this, Timothy, and we can all put our name there, like you should know this prophetess. That in the last days, there will be very difficult times for people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud, scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will be they will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be puffed up with pride and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, my God, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Woo, geez, I want to expound on that one. Stay away from people like this. They are the kind who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are, I I would say men too, who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. Such women are forever following new teachings 
but they are never able to understand the truth. That's why I want to say, why did he specifically call out women here? We're, we're gonna, I want you to touch on that. These teachers oppose the truth, just as Janice and Jambres oppose Moses. They have depraved minds and a counterfeit faith. Glory, my God. But they won't get away with this alone. His encouragement. Someday everyone will recognize what fools they are, just as with Janice and Jambres. Glory. Dr. Wright, you want to have anything to add to that? It's a mouthful in itself. No, oh, it's a mouthful, and uh, I'm I'm reading the Passion, and it's entitled "Characteristics of the Last Days." But I do want to say one thing, one thing that um, you said when you started out talking about um, the remnant and those that just say they're Christians. I do want to let you know, those in the that are listening, that you don't have to be. You don't have to be that person that carries the label of disciple or Christian and not living it. You don't have to be on the fence. You don't have to be lukewarm. You don't have to be up and down. You don't have to be in and out. That is not the way God designed this walk to be. And you don't have to be that way. If you will seek the help of first the Holy Spirit that is here in place of God and Jesus and the word of God that gives us divine instruction and good, um, a good church that speaks the word of God, that has the flow of the spirit, that signs and wonders work. This will help you. You do not have to be a non-remnant Christian. Mm. You can Glory. be a member of the remnant because the remnant is who he's calling for. The remnant are those that are standing under every situation, circumstance, trial, tribulate. They're still standing and standing true to the word of God and to their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we're coming to tell you today, these things are going to happen, but you don't have to be caught up in this. There is an answer for you. Glory. So you're going to read the Passion Translation? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the Passion says, but you need to be aware that in the final days, The culture of society, Mm. listen to this, the culture of society, which is what we live in now, will become extremely fierce. Wow. People will be self-centered, lovers of themselves, and obsessed with money. Mm. We could do a whole program on that obsession with money. What comes along with that is obsession with fame, obsession with celebrity, obsession with likes, Obsession with people following you on social media. Come on now. Obsession obsession with being the person that they're talking about all the time. Obsession. Because society is obsessed with the people that have celebrity status. Even those men and women in the church that have accomplished much, they're obsessed with them. So there is, and, and, and there's another word that's used here. Let me continue reading They will boast of great things as they strut around in their arrogant (laughs) pride and mock all that is right. My God. And that takes me to the, I think it was a resurrection service that some pastor had. It's on YouTube, Mm -hmm. Facebook, and all this demonic activity was happening. Women were dressed scantily. They're crawling on the floor. He's all in red. I mean, it looks like the devil's den. Say that. The devil's den. And what did it just say? And mock all that is right. See, that was a mockery. Yes, it was. Of the true resurrected power of Jesus Christ and how we celebrate it. Then it said, they will ignore their own families. They will be ungrateful and ungodly. Wow. See that. and, and, And when he put these two together, that lets us know that those are two spirits that travel together. Yes, you're ungrateful that's and you're ungodly. Yeah, ungodly. You become ungodly because you're not grateful for anything God does. You're not uh, respectful of him. You're not grateful for what he's done. You're always looking for more. It's never enough. This is the end time cultural society we live in. Then it says they will become addicted to hateful and malicious slander. And, and look, 
If you look at uh, social media, TV, and all, they are addicted. The shows that do the best on cable TV and TV are the ones that they're fighting on there. The housewives and all of those other things where they're bickering and fighting and stabbing in the back. The big brother house, the uh, survivor where they, if they have to cheat to win. So that's the addiction to hateful and malicious yes. slander. Okay. Mm, Slaves to their desires. Slaves to their desire. We they don't just want something, they are slave to it, which means you'll do anything it takes to get it. Anything. They will become ferocious, belligerent haters of what is good and right. And we so see they, that so much. That that right there. Haters of what's good and, and, and what is right. And see they that, hate what is the truth. Right. And and see how detrimental that is because once you hate a thing then all your energy is directed towards that thing being defeated. Once you hate the truth, you hate Christianity, you hate Jesus, you hate the Bible, everything you do is going to be an attack of it. And then it says, with brutal treachery, they will act out without restraint, bigoted and wrapped in clouds of their own deceit. Mm -mm. They will find their delight in the pleasures of this world more than the pleasures of the loving God. So we see that they do. They want, even if they are people that go to church, they're looking at the clock. He's talking too long. Why is prophet is still up there? Well, when are they going to get to the message so I can leave? I got stuff to do because they are ready to do something else, but they want to say, I did my duty. I showed up. I checked the box. Yeah. It said, they will pretend to have respect for God, but in reality, they want nothing to do with God's power. Woo. Because God's power can save, deliver, and transform. That's why the enemy. And, ex and expose. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and exposed. They stay away from people like this. No, it says well, right. stay away from that, people like this. Says, yeah, this is a yes. part that many Christians struggle with. Mm -hmm. Because yes, we want we want to be loved by everybody, you know, God's a lot of her and all, but it's a different. We're in these last days, and because people are entering into so much wickedness, um, they're they're just Hey, they don't, they know the truth in reference to it, you know, but they still going to partake of it anyway. So he says, stay away from people like these. Mm -hmm. He's like telling all us, stay away those. from them. That's different, Dr. Wright, if I go out here and I see a person and they don't know you witnessing to them, but you got so many of that fit this category that say that they belong to God. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, this, the Holy Spirit just brought this back to me. He actually spoke to me this morning and said, be cautious of those that are pretending that mm -hmm. they belong to Christ, but they belong to Satan. I'm going to say it again. I just remembered that he spoke that to me this morning. Be cautious of those that are pretending that they belong to Christ, but they belong to Satan. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. so they may pretend to have a respect for God, but they don't want nothing to do with him. Okay. Mm -hmm. For they are the ones... All these people that we've just talked about, they are the ones who worm their way into the hearts of vulnerable women. Now, right. worm your way. A worm, mm. to me, is a small snake. So what they're yeah. doing is they're deceptively, stealthily, um, uh, with with malice and with the spirit of the enemy, they 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 entangle themselves into yeah. vulnerable women, it says, and spending their night with those who are captured by their lust and steeped in sin. Uh oh, you don't say the cuss word, you say sin. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let me read that whole sentence again. They are the ones who worm their way into the hearts of vulnerable women, spending the night with those 
who are captured by their lust and steeped in sin. Because if you're a transformed individual, you already know that's not the environment and that's not the people I want to be with. Yes. Then it says they are always learning, but never discover the revelation knowledge of truth. And we so know some people like that, that can just like spout right. out. They can spout out stuff about the Bible. They can spout out history. They can spout out facts and figures. But what is it? You need revelation knowledge to understand this truth. Come on now. And you cannot get revelation knowledge from your humanness. It must come from the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. History has given us an example of this with the Egyptian sorcerers, Janus and Jambres who stood against Moses in their arrogance Mm. because aren't people on the other side, Satan's people are arrogant because they're just, they they have a false sense of confidence. Like we have a true sense of confidence. They think because they serve the devil and they do these rituals and he's making them more powerful. They have this false, false sense of I'm as powerful or more powerful than you having Christ. And that's what, those two individuals did. But Moses had been taught before he even went into God's camp. He had been taught Egyptian ways uh-huh. and spells and all of that. Now God taught him a more excellent way. So he was able to defeat them in their own stuff. So it will be in the last days with those who reject the faith, with their corrupt minds and mm. arrogant hearts standing against the truth of God. My God. But they will not advance for everyone will see their madness just as they did with Janice and Jambri. So what is it saying? You're not fooling nobody. You're fooling yourself. Well, Because Satan has convinced you that you're fooling people. But he knows that there is a group of people, the remnant, those tongue talkers, those that spend time with God. You're not going to fool them. Satan knows that, but he won't let you, if you're captivated by him, know that you're transparent. We see it all. Amen. And Dr. Wright, when we go over here, and and this is where, this is strictly the word. I mean, it really doesn't need any interpretation. Amen. I am just was hearing the Father. I was supposed to go in a whole other direction, and that is the reason why I heard the Father say, I Give this to the people. And mm-hmm. it's also to encourage those of us. And there's some of you out there. Ha, thank you, Holy Spirit. You, you're you walking right. You're doing the right thing. And But the society, when that part that you said, Dr. Wright, that society brought me back to what I preach about being an overcomer. To be an overcomer and, and, and be able to stand on these last days, you have to overcome sin. You have to overcome the world, the society, and this mm-hmm. culture, and Satan. Yes. And so for those of us that, you know, people out there tell you they don't take all this, um, you've been too religious, and but when, but you stand, you're trying to stand to what the word of God said. And some of you leaders that are out there that are compromised because of the culture, that are compromising because of people's tithes and offering, and because people are trying to tell you to do it this way, you know, you want to change things around. So over here in 2 Timothy 4, Dr. Wright, just going over one more chapter, to the beginning, it says, Timothy, in the presence of our great God and our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who is this destined to judge both the living and the dead by the revelation of his kingdom, I solemnly instruct you to proclaim the word of God and stand. There go again. We kept hearing this all throughout all the messages when we were at the 7,000 more, to stand upon it no matter what, Dr. Wright, Mm -hmm. no matter what to stand, rise to the occasion and preach when it is convenient and when it is not, preach in the full expression of the Holy Spirit with wisdom and patience as you instruct and teach the people. For the time is coming, and I say now, when they will no longer listen and respond to the healing words of truth because they will become selfish and pride they will seek out teachers with soothing words that line up with their desires saying just what they want to hear 
They will close their ears to the truth and believe nothing but fables and myth. My God. So be alert to all these things and overcome every form of evil. Carry in your heart the passion of your calling as a church planter and evangelist and fulfill your ministry calling. And now that the time is fast approaching for my release from this life and I am ready to be offered as a sacrifice. This is Paul giving a word to us. And then verse seven says, I have fought an excellent fight. I have finished my full course with all my might and I kept my heart full of faith. There's a crown of righteousness. Hear me say so God a crown of righteousness waiting in heaven for me. And I know that my Lord will reward me on his day and righteous judgment. And this crown is not only waiting for me, but for all who love and long for his unveiling. My God. That's what the father is saying to us, Dr. Wright, for us to continue to stand yes. during these last and evil days. Mm-hmm. Because, and and he already let us know, we'll be surrounded mm. by the spirit and attitude of selfishness and pride. We'll be My surrounded God. with that. So this is why we have to be so co- dependent on the word and the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we will be discouraged. And, and maybe some of you out there are discouraged. Read this word. Read the word we read today. Second Timothy, Timothy chapter three, second Timothy, Timothy chapter four, because the word will encourage you all by itself. Read it in different translations. We are living in a time where people have their own ideas, their own opinions, and their own gospel. So you have to know what is the true gospel, because folks will walk up to you and start preaching to you, and it's with passion, it's with, it sounds like truth, it sounds like they're sincere, and it's all still a lie, because it's not the (laughs) word of God. So we can't look naturally. That's why the Lord said you need the Holy Spirit, because he sees what you don't see naturally. Amen. And And you know what, as you were speaking and saying that, they'll come up to you, and what does the word, the word of God says over, and I think it's first John chapter four, it says, test the spirit. It says, we love, believe not yes. every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets mm-hmm. are gone out into the world. And even over yes. in verse four, it's talking about false teachers over in Timothy. Hereby know ye the spirit of God, every spirit that confessed that Jesus Christ. See, this is what he told me this morning. Now I got a scripture mm-hmm. to go with it. Mm-hmm. Every spirit that confessed that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confessed not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this mm-hmm. is that spirit of the Antichrist. Yes. Wherefore, you have heard that it is should come. And even now, now already it's in the world. And, it's, mm-hmm. and, it, and it, we're seeing this even in this month called Pride Month. You know, mm-hmm. what lover of themselves. Love, you know, the abomination and all that, man with man and woman with woman. These are the times we're in. This is talking about in a book of Daniel. This is the homosexual gender is a sign to what about the setting up of the Antichrist. Absolutely. And that's the reason why we want to warn them. We want them to come to Jesus Christ because half of them don't know that they're being set up to be said. The Antichrist is going to say, oh, y'all supposed to be just like me. So you're going to have to do and you're going to have to choose me to the mark of the beast. And they said, we got two minutes. Go ahead, Dr. Wright. Well, this while you were talking, I'm going to speak fast. It reminded me, the spirit reminded me that we're not just going to drop and there's the Antichrist. Satan is slowly building, building. That's that word. Level, That's that word. Level, yeah. Level by level. He's building in society so that it be, we become sens- insensitive. It's not anything unusual. 
sin. I'm talking about sin now. We're insensitive yes. to it. It's not unusual. We make excuses for it. We say that, well, we'll keep praying. They'll get it after a while. But we can't. We got to do, we must pray. Pray without ceasing. But we must put some action with the prayer. We have got to tell everybody that Jesus is coming back and that he's coming back for a church, which is this body without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. We need to understand that our time is short on earth, no matter what age you are. Because if he cracks the sky and you're not ready, you're left behind in the tribulation period. Amen. And we want to, we, listen, I want to be, if he came today, we want to be able to, to, to head up. Now Amen. is not the time to delay your salvation. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today. This is what these two prophets are sharing with you because we're in the last days. Don't get part of the culture. Confess Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Accept him. Live right. Get planted so that the Lord God can put his spirit and continue in deep down within the inside of you so you will be able to stand. Amen. And so we thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday, amen, or Wednesday. And as we always say, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900.